some people may believe once you get saved you can't lose your salvation and if you read the Bible which I am going to show you that is not true we can lose our salvation so let's go to Revelation chapter 21 verse 8 King James Version but the fearful and unbelieving and the abominable and murderers and whoremongers and sorcerers and idolaters and all liars. Okay, this is talking about different sins, right? Shall have their part and the lake which burneth with fire and brimstone, which is the second death. Let's go to Ephesians chapter 5, verses 3 through 5. And please check these out for yourself as well. Okay. But fornication and all uncleanness... Or covetousness let it not be once named among you as becometh saints okay verse 4 neither filthiness nor foolish talking nor jesting which are not convenient but rather giving of thanks verse 5 for this ye know that no whoremonger, nor unclean person, excuse me, nor covetous man who is an idolater hath any inheritance in the kingdom of Christ and of God. So we have to be a certain way to go to heaven, right? I believe so. Let's go to Galatians chapter 5, verses 19 through 21. Let's go. Okay. Now the works of the flesh are manifest, which are these adultery, fornication, uncleanness, lasciviousness. What, what are these things? sin right we can lose our salvation i believe so verse 20 idolatry witchcraft hatred variance emulations wrath strife seditions heresies 21 envyings murder drunkenness yes drunkenness is a sin revelings and such like of the which I tell you before, as I have also told you in time past, okay, that they which do such things, what, shall not inherit the kingdom of God. Let's go to 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verses 9 through 10. Let's go. Know ye not that the unrighteous, huh? So there is no once saved, always saved. You can lose your salvation, right? I believe so. Know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God. Be not deceived, neither fornicators, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, nor effeminate, nor abusers of themselves with mankind. Verse 10, nor thieves, nor covetous, nor drunkards, nor revelers, nor extortioners, yes, shall not, I mean, shall inherit the kingdom of God. 
as you can see and I hope you can see we have to live a certain type of way does this mean you are going to do everything right all day every day I think not but strive for perfection I may not do everything right all the time but I believe you should try to don't give up even if you fail one million times continue to try because what do you have to lose I believe God looks at the heart I believe our intentions are very very important if I am messing up so much, sinning often, but if I am trying to do what is right, if I am asking God for help, if I am trying to do, I guess I can say my best, I believe God will honor that. So if you fail in trying to do what is right, don't give up. Even if you fail every day, continue to try to do what is right. Because what is the use in giving up? Like, yes, I know what is right to do, but I continue to fail, so I am just going to accept a fate in hell. Don't do that. Try. Myself, in times past, I thought it was impossible to stop doing some of the things I was doing. Maybe, I think some, yes. But look at me now. In back in the past, I don't think I ever knew I could get to where I am now. I don't think I never knew. I ever knew, I mean. So let me stop here. God bless you.